Good afternoon and welcome back to Planet Craft. I'm Natalie and I'm going to be taking you through the acetate with adhesive section of today. So we've already done our text design and Ian has already flipped it for me and um, transferred it to the machine, hopefully. So I'll just wait for everybody to join. So very quickly, I'm going to be using some double-sided adhesive sheet. So I'm using some score tape. It's six by six inches in this case, but you could use a roll or any other kind of sheet double-sided adhesive. I'm also going to be using some clear acetate. I'm using the paper mania one. That's because it's nice and thick and it will hold its shape well when we're doing these techniques. Hi Mum, hi Tracy, hi Sarah Lou. <laughs> Anybody else present for afternoon register? <laughs> Carol's it. Hi Carol. <laughs> Yay, the restart worked. Yay. That's good. Okay, so. Nice fresh back because I can't find the open one. Spare things in the craft room, grow legs and just come off for their own accord. Okay, so when you open up your adhesive, you're going to find it has two protective papers, one of which will come off easier than the other one. Okay, and that's just standard. But I'm just going to fold back one edge. Uh, Carol says, is score tape better than red liner tape? <sighs> Whoever it is that keeps doing that, I really do wish they'd stop it. Sounds like our car. Um. The score tape is more or less the same as the red liner tape, to be honest. So they're both really strong adhesives. So I'm just leading myself a little bit of a leading edge. And Francis says afternoon. Um, just for framing. So you don't want to take it so much that you can see it inside your frame, but just that you're not wasting any. Yeah, Francis says afternoon. Afternoon, Francis. So I'm just going to very gently peel away my... And at this point you want to try and make sure you get new bubbles. Bubbles are your enemy for this one. So if you have a squeegee... Could you pass me the squeegee? I can, and you can answer a question while I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, so uh, Tracy has asked, can acetate be heated up to soften it to bend into shapes and things? Um, it will bend if you heat it, <coughs> unless it's the heat resistant one. Um, bending into a shape that you choose, however, mm, not so sure. It tends to have a bit of a mind of its own. So I'm just using the soft edge of my squeegee just to slowly press down. And the backing sheet will just walk itself away so it can kind of concentrate on your holding your acetate steady. Okay. Just because there's a little bit of tension in the tape, I'm just going to give it a quick bend the other way so it doesn't curl up too much. You want it to lie nice and flat on your mat and you also want to keep your backing sheet to one side because we're going to be needing that. So just increase that edge that we did. So now before we go any further I'm just going to trim that down. Again, you just want to give it that slight little edge. It will slide in your trim a little bit. And if you try and stamp on that, it's tape, you definitely want to use a stamping platform. Because it will go slidey everywhere. Because with this technique, what you can do is actually work front and back with your tape. So you can actually draw onto the front if you wish. 
so we'll see how we go <laughs> in terms of time today. It may just be that I just show you the backing section first. Okay, so we're going to grab our mat. Yes, it's an artist sticks mat. And you want to make sure that it's got a good tack with no bits on it for this one. Because the ones that you have to take, we all like to do, is sleep. And we don't want that. And yes, that is the fated mat from yesterday. Huh? <laughs> The faded mat from yesterday. Yeah, I don't think that it was the mat's fault to be fair. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab my foiling guide frame, which is going to rapidly end up changing its name because I'm not using it for foiling again. The, the uh frame that Natalie is using is now available on the group, I believe. Always helps if you get it the right way up, doesn't it? Is it on the group we put it? Uh, yes, the link is on the group. Yeah, on the group uh, with a link. And unfortunately, I couldn't set it up so it sets the file straight to download. So as soon as the. Um, so it is a pound, um, but that, that is all it is going to cost. Um, it's up on the web on the group. If you do want it, if you just click through and purchase, and then I will send you the files for the, uh, the cum files that you can go your own. And a thank you to Tracy for our first purchase. He's trying to work out which way around I did these yesterday. Just so I can keep me lines nice and straight. Okay, so what I'm doing no. is just filling in my my guide so that eventually... Oh, so we keep breaking up again. Oh, that's no good. I have to keep an eye on that cow because it um, seems to be alright this end, but it had a bit of a, a wobble at one point. Um, don't need another one of those. I need... Okay. I don't need so basically, with your guide, you cut loads of the um, centre strips, and they'll help you with positioning. So I want to go in that way next. Okay, we'll see how it's going. It's cut, it says it's doing all right at the moment. Uh, it has dropped a couple of frames, but not lots. So we'll keep. We'll see how that. it goes. Next one down. And so it's got many issues at the moment. Could do measuring the not measuring but labelling these do. Could I? Yeah. Just so I can You should have a couple of each, so we you should have another like eights and sevens. So you don't have to keep using ones. That's gonna be too big. I need some little ones. There's lots of little ones in there. Just need one more for that top piece in there. Okay, there we go. Now, if you're wondering why I've bothered to go to the trouble of using the uh, guide for this one, it's so that I know where the edge of my acetate is. So although I've just placed that one in there for now, I'm going to wiggle that in a bit just to get this in the right place. So we know our, our acetate is slightly larger than 6x6, six six, so we may need to take a few pieces out just to get it to where we need it. That's fine. Mm. 
I'll keep an eye on it, Carol, because um, Francisca, it keeps. Uh, if it does keep freezing, that's going to be an issue. Well, it can't play up today. Eh? Okay, so I've done my frame, and hopefully, because we know our design is going to kind of sit inside, we can lift up our two side pieces and kind of go over the top. It's just going to help me line that with just a little bit better. And I might just move that green one just to make life a little easier too. And then when it comes to doing our scan, it'll be a lot easier to kind of see that. There we go. So yeah, if you did miss the video with the um, foil guide where we launched it, it's a good one to go back to as it shows you how to build up the uh, layers. That's Tuesday, wasn't it? Yes. Tuesday morning, so the 11 o'clock one on Tuesday had the original. There's a link in the group as well, I, pop, I popped back up as well. Cool. Okay, so now that we've got the mat ready, I'm going to turn on our scan and cut. And... If you're new to the scan and cut, when it comes up with this screen, make sure your blade is not in your machine and go OK. OK, that just saves your blade from getting chipped accidentally. We can load in our mat. We're going to go to pattern and wait for the network to kick in. There we go. So you can pull that down off the internet. How's it doing? Yeah. Yeah? Not dropping any now. It's okay at the moment, so we'll see how it goes. It keeps having a moment every now and then, but it's okay. coping, but I think it's just bandwidth. Yeah. Okay, so we've pulled up our design. And all we basically want to do is cut through our backing paper on our um, adhesive. We don't want to go all the way through our acetate on this occasion. So, what do you reckon, Mr. Autoblade? <sighs> Two? Just for the backing paper? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to go too deep, do you? Probably go down to one actually. Shall start I try on one? one? Yeah, start on I'm going to wear on the side of caution for this one. So, in terms of your blade holder, your blade holder should go past 12, okay? And then go back to one. And you'll have the tiny smack blade showing. It's only the cover that has three holes. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the cap for it, Carol, on the deep cut one. So when you take the yeah, because that one it's just off. evil the the deep cut one. So yeah, we'll I keep the cap on it. One. I think it's so you can tell the difference as well. No, the the that one has a a three dot cap, it's doesn't like it? No, it's solid. Is it? Mm. Shows how often it gets put on mine. <laughs> it doesn't usually uh, manage to stay out of the machine long enough, does it? Okay. Yeah. So before we go too far, I'm going to do a background scan. And this is why we use the frame. So it's going to make it easier for us to see. Can't be closed off because otherwise it'd be choking covered. That's what the holes are there for. If you look on the new ones, the caps have got no holes in. That's like health and safety nightmare. Mm. 
Okay, so we've all, uh, already got our design grouped. Thank you, Ian. It's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that in there. Okay. And because it's grouped on the machine, you can't ungroup it. But uh, it's probably going to try and go around and do our outside line, but that should be okay on this occasion, I think. We get, can put up with it. <laughs> you get trimming my yeah. <laughs> Well, I make no promises. I'm just going to zoom in. If I, if I might click off it to just check. If I go like that. Ah! Oh, nope, it's not going to let me click off it. That's really bad. Normally it'll let you click off it. Okay, it needs to move that way a little. Top and bottom's not too bad. So, one that way. And we'll just zoom in and just double check that again. Yep. That should be okay. And if it does cut a little bit off this edge, I'm not too bothered. That's why you allow a bit of an extra overhang. Okay. So we've done our blade dip, and do I need to check my pressure after yesterday's? That's yeah, still on minus eight. So. Okay. Just thought I'd check. I didn't change it, but you have a fresh blade in that, so. Okay, definitely one then. <laughs> when did you change the blade? When we said. All right. Okay. <laughs> So if you were doing this on a DX, this is when you would select half cut.
didn't have a six inch piece of score so could you just lay down some layers of normal double sided tape? Um, normal double sided tape, yeah. Not foam tape? No, not foam. When you use the foam, because you'll, you'll see it. <laughs> the whole point is that your adhesive is to be transparent so that you actually see what you're going to put on it through it. Like it's like quick waste. Quick waste, yeah, not death. Yeah. Quick waste. So like you. You can get like the big rolls of it. Um, the dot and dab adhesives also good, and creative expressions also do big A4 sheets if you really want to go up to doing large frames as well. Okay, so Linda will do is uh, say sorry she's late and hope she can catch up. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you want to explain what you've done. Okay, so so far... And then I have another one afterwards. Okay, this morning um, we did a text design, so if you want to catch it with the actual file itself, that's the one to go back and watch. Um, we then flipped it and I've just cut it out of some double-sided adhesives that I've applied to the back of a piece of acetate. And when I've cut, I've literally just gone for the paper. So I don't want to go through the adhesive if I can help it. If you do a light scoring, it won't matter too much. But what I will do very quickly is I want to just double check that it's cut it. Because if not, oh, we might be alright. Yeah. Let's just check somewhere else. Because <laughs> there's nothing worse than removing it from the machine to suddenly go, ah, oh, that didn't cut enough. Okay, and Linda Sayers, who is new to our lovely group. Yay. So, welcome to the group, Linda. And there are a lovely group, they're all very helpful and very nice. And asking what mat we are using, she finds okay. the scanning cut mat so expensive. We are using an Arty Sticks mat, so they, to my mind, they do last longer. It's well worth yeah. investing in. If you drop us a message after um, Linda, um, I have a code that you can use which will get you a 10% discount if you do want to order one um, from Artistics Direct um, and they can get you a 10% discount on any mats that you do order. I know I'm, I'm, I'm probably looking straight at it here. What are you looking for? My weeding kit. Your weeding kit? Yes. It's done with it, isn't it? No, it's, I'll get it because it's on the All right, okay. What did you do putting it under there? <laughs> put away. <laughs> Should know by now, it never stays away very long. <laughs> so, welcome to the group. Um, if you are a member of the group, just check the announcements for our rules and things. First important point of business. The second is, um, you can find most of the videos are now on YouTube and they're also on our Facebook page. There are a couple still in the group that are exclusive to the group and we also have a couple on my profile and also on the group page is a files section which has a lot of the files that we've used throughout these streams and they're free for you to download all we ask is that you please don't share them out so outside the group they should not be <laughs> going to go all you uh, and we have Barbie as well who said she'd love to know about the mats too yep um, again if you drop us a private message um, after I will give you a code um, where you can get a 10% discount. Um, the mats do last a lot longer um, and to clean them rather than having to wipe them off with baby wipes or scrape them with baby wipes, all you need is a lint roller um, and that's it. And the tap comes back with a lint roller. Um, so they are so much easier to clean. They've got a better tack than your brother mats and they'll last a lot longer. Um, so if you do. So this is where you're going to get to watch me doing lots of weeding. <laughs> Don't want to change camera for you. Yes, please. <laughs> and Carol says Ian should know that putting things away tidy is a bad idea. You never find them again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You'd think he'd learn his lesson by now, wouldn't you, really? So I'm just going to literally remove the smallest bits of um, the masking first. And you want to try and not dig your tool into your actual um, adhesive if you can help it. It's easier said than done sometimes, so if you can see that it is weeding okay, you can actually remove it from the machine. And to our new ladies, please don't be afraid to put any comments in um, and discuss. There's no such thing as silly questions. There's lots of, you know, we don't mind any. And even if there are, there are silly questions, no. <laughs> we no can have a good giggle. <laughs> there's no such thing as a silly question, is there, dear? No, not unless it's one of your streams. <laughs> it's okay. I was still getting back for yesterday. <laughs> Apparently, she said you should send me to puppy training school. <laughs> right, does that cure the bad language? <laughs> I have not sworn today. Okay, so with your design, you're going to do it area by area and just take your time. So, in this design, first of all, I'm going to do this finest bit of text. As a rule, you're going to go from the fine detail up to the bold. Otherwise, you can end up losing details, and we don't want that. Also, it saves you getting in a sticky mess. <laughs> Uh, that one's coming through, Linda. Yes, that came through. Okay. You should see it pop up on the screen. There is about a 30 second delay between what I see on the comments and what actually comes up on the screen, so the, there is a bit of a delay. Okay, so with your fine letters, you may just find that you have to just give it a there little go, bit of resistance. Oh, yes. And, Kelsey, can you use a pokey tool for that? Um, you can use a pokey tool, but what I would say is that there are occasions, like this letter that I'm doing here, where having that hook is actually invaluable, okay? Yeah. Or so if you can find one that has a slightly bent end, yeah. you know, we, we have another one, don't we, which is a vicious little thing, um, and it has the end of it is bent in slightly, so that's always great for just plucking out little bits with. I think it got damaged in transit, didn't it, that one? Because it's not supposed to be. It did, actually, yeah. Mm. Okay. Tweezers are also quite useful on occasion. Are there any questions while Natalie's doing the weeding that I might be able to answer? I can ask Natalie while she's weeding. Yeah, I can talk and weed. I can multitask. That's all right, Zena. Hope you're okay. Do you want to move it just up the oh, little sorry. bit because your head's in the way? Sorry, I try not to get my head in the way, but it's a bit hard when you also need to see what you're doing. Yeah. So for most things I can stay further away, but for this, because it's white on white, you kind of have to get close to it. A light box does help. Um, the only reason I'm not using a light box at the moment is it's a bit too bright to be able to kind of yeah. get the benefit of it. That looks like it would be harder than weeding white glitter. <laughs> yeah. If you're weeding white glitter, actually, uh, the light box actually helps oodles. Yeah. Same with black. Black glitter is just, well, uh, yeah. That's good. I'm glad you're fine. See that. <laughs> Responding to my questions. Um, Whilst Matt is doing that, I will remind you all we do have a workshop on Saturday and Sunday this week um, with which we are doing a shadow box um, design. Or oh, layered shadow, isn't it? It's layered one, yeah. A layered shadow box design. Um, it is up as an event on the Plancraft site, uh, Plancraft uh, Facebook page, sorry. Um, it is £30. Um, but it's just because it's over two days. Um, it's Plus we gave you lots of support yeah, outside of it. Yeah, and there's lots of support outside of it. Um, so if you do need help between the two days, we're here usually to uh, 
assist. Uh, then just ask if there's an easier way to do it. It looks very tedious. Um, it's only because of the size of it that's tedious. Um, because these are tiny. So when you, what you'll um, really see when we get to put the layers on is how much detail there is actually in this wording. <laughs> But if you are interested in the course, then uh, please do uh, have a look on the uh, events on the Facebook, on the Planercraft Facebook page. like us to do another competition this month. Yes, because we still have some prizes left. We do. See, look, that's definitely where your hook comes in handy. Don't be scared of it, Linda. Go back and watch some of our videos. There's lots you can do with it. Name it if it helps. Um, there's lots of uh, people say they're afraid of their machines. Um, Please don't be. One of the things that I usually say, but if you name it or give it a name, it sort of takes that fear of it. The fear of it off a little bit. Um, ours is called Cindy. Some bizarre reason, I can't remember why we called it Cindy in the end. Donna named it. Uh, Donna named it for us, yes. Yes, Donna um, named it. So ours is called Cindy, and we use it daily, uh, mostly with feeds. Um, sometimes do great things, but not always. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you can't win it. You can win again, Tracy. We can always find you something different to give you a surprise if you do win again, Tracy. Um, so we can... I'm very <laughs> inventive. Hey? I can be very inventive. Yeah, that's very inventive with things to give to people. But uh, yeah, um, how long have you had your machine, Linda? Is it fairly new, or is it uh, one that you've had a long time, just not used it? What's the record so far? Two years in the I box. Think two years in the box before they opened it and took it out at the moment. The trick with anything to do with the scan and cut, like with this reading, is patience. Yeah. Don't be afraid to give it the time, you know. I think the other one is to play with it. Three months. Okay, so that's not too bad. <laughs> so we've had people who've had them years. Um, we did a class down in um, Milford Haven, didn't we? Yeah. And we asked the people in there and... Uh, how long they'd had their machine. How long they'd had the machine and somebody said they'd had it a couple of years and never taken it out of the box. And it's like, wow. <laughs> Trouble is then you start panicking because you think if for any reason it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's already out of warranting and not, never been taken out of the box and used. So do get it out, use it, play with it. Have fun with it. Yeah. It's not going to explode on you. And don't be afraid to make mistakes with it. The best way for you to learn with it is... To make mistakes. And consider um, your first mat expendable. <laughs> yeah. Um, I said, do go back, watch all our videos. There's lots and lots, there's hours and hours of tuition. Um, for of free. tuition. And when you, when you run out on there, we also do a beginner's book as well. Yeah, there's a beginner's book as well, which we've recently published, which is on Amazon. Um, Takes you through the first cut with the machine. Takes you through, yeah, setting board, it up and everything else. Um, canvas. Yep, works. all the software as well, so we do canvas and everything else. Um, so do have a look at that as well. Um, also, it's worth uh, having. Uh, you cut the sheet as well. Uh, the book is available from Amazon. Um, I'll pop your link up. I'll just go and find it quick and I'll pop your link up for the book. Uh, give me a second.
Okay, so we're nearly there with this first bit of reading. Which bit couldn't you spell? The go or the create? Create, got it wrong. Uh, well, that's better. You should be grateful that these two wasn't the go. <laughs> og. We <laughs> spelled <laughs> og wrong today. Okay. So you just want to check before you go too far that you're happy with the reading. There you go. So the link that I've just popped up is the link to the book. So that's the book one. Um, so. That's our most recent edition. And we're currently doing one on vector graphics. Yep, which will be book two. Which is book two, so we are working on those at the moment. Yeah, and in between book one and book two, there's going to be a catch up on all the magazine back issues. As one book. As one book. Yes. Which I'm currently up to page 100 and something. Yeah, that's going to be a big book. Very big book. Okay, so now that we've done our first lot of reading, I'm going to go for, usually at this point I'd say black glitter, but I think I'm going to just, this could be interesting, last time I used this stuff I ended up like a smurf. <laughs> oh no, you're not using that again. Yeah. Can you pass me a, a paintbrush please? Just one of the um, yellow handled ones. Uh, oh, what? Just one of the yellow handled ones. No, no. That's it. So you can use black glitter for this, you can use perfect pearls, you could use um oh, wow. some flocking. There you go. So Linda has a six hundred and nine hundred and her son used it both during his GCSE art and got a gay. Uh, and Francis is saving up for a scan and cut at the moment. Oh, in which case then, watch um, Pete Simpson's live from today. It'll be up on the group. And you are going to want to enter. Well, he, he's kind of teased it today, hasn't he? So yeah, he's teased it today. But he's doing a, a competition tomorrow, I believe. On um, Arts and Addicts. So on Arts if and Addicts. If you search Artists and Addicts and go and join his group, they're going to be giving away a scan and cut. Yeah. And Canberra says she's selling her 600 for £200 if she wants one. Yep, yeah, cool. Yep, yeah. so there you go. If you don't want to wait for Pete's competition or if you think... You just want to go for it. You just it. want to go for it. Um, I'm just going to go... There must have been a little bit of purple still left in my brush. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull out purple to get Mr. Blending with that. Don't drop it on the floor. <laughs> so, you only use the tiniest, tiniest amount of these, so don't panic too much. Yeah. Sorry if I didn't ask where you were for uh, Francis. Normally we do, don't we? Yeah. There is a, a, a post on the um, group that says about support and the whole point of that post was that it was just if you ask for help just let us know where you're from but everybody's kind of used it as a where are you from? <laughs> yeah and um, we do offer um, support via computer so if you're having issues setting up your machine or with Canvas workspace um, I know Carol will probably atone to the fact that we and help but that is a worldwide help that we offer um, I've spent hours on two people in uh, South, Africa. South Africa and America and all over the place Australia, Australia recently yes um, and we do it through a, a program called Team Viewer um, which allows me to access your computer remotely um, we can also do it by so um, it just allows me just to show where you're uh, what you can do and how to do it. You can sit and watch me do whatever I do and I don't do anything you don't want me to do. So the uh, support is there if you need it. And Carol, that's what's the glitter stuff that you're using now? Um, I will tell you when I've finished because if I try and have a look now I'm going to end up with a face full. <laughs> then you can definitely laugh. Because the last time I, I, I was using this I ended up literally every colour under the sun. 
Um, but Carol, you keep asking about um, doing brush shows. This might be a way that we might do it because these react with water as well. But they're also cool for doing this kind of thing with, so. Uh, very good too, thanks on Affinity. Yes, all right, yes. Yeah, we did the Affinity one as well. So, you know, we do offer the, the software as well. Okay, so so far that's looking quite subtle. I'm going to just put a bit more in these areas here just so it kind of pops up a bit more. Darker the better with this one. Just because of the detail. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Well, sir. Carol says the help is invaluable. She can buy us another cup of coffee later. Um, <laughs> and it's weird watching someone else using your computer, but very helpful. <laughs> so, yes, on the page and our website, we have a, a thing called Buy Me a Coffee, um, which is a it costs three pound and it's voluntary we don't expect it we don't ask for it um but it is there if you find any useful if we have useful information or yeah so if you find any videos that we do or any of the projects on the blog yeah um and you want to say thank you that's, that's how, to that's do how it. you do it it's a, like i said it's three pounds to buy a coffee and like i said it's completely voluntary it's just there if people want to use it so okay so i'm liking that that looks Okay. Thank you. So before I go too far, put the lid on it. Find out what it is. Put the lid on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, more importantly, put the lid on it. I ended up with this all over Ian's desk, all over the floor, and all I had out was the tiniest amount. My blue dot's finally gone. Yeah, I know. I had one on my cheek the other day. I was like, ah, oh, seriously, gets absolutely everywhere. So you'll see there's like this tiny little bit that's on my mat that you can't even see on the camera. As soon as you get that wet, cool blimey, it just explodes. So what are they? They should be coloured explosions. Uh, they are Luminart, Bluegrass and Passion and they are, because I know it says on the big ones. They are, they are, they are. <sighs> she says. I managed to pick up the one that doesn't. I'm sure it says on them. Pure colours. So uh, there you go. They're like powder pigments that you can make into paints, you can include it with your mediums, and you can just put it neat onto your adhesive or probably onto Versamark would work just about just the same as perfect pearls. Uh, our videos are all on the um, pages and the group. They're also available on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and search for Planner Craft, um, we are slowly getting all the videos up on there. All the recent ones are definitely up there because we stream to both at the same time. Um, if you have a look on um, the Planner Craft page of um, Facebook and go to video uh, photos and then to videos, you should be able to find them there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you remember the Scan and Cut group as well, which we have, they are also, there's a few in there. Okay, so I'll just give them that quick burnish over the top, and you can see straight away it's lifted off some other spare pigment. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean off my backing sheet. There'll still be a little bit that transfers, but it won't matter too much. Right, next. Now I need to decide which bit I'm going to go for next. I think that might look quite nice with sparkle around it actually and go lighter. Are you going to weed some more? Yeah, I'm going to weed some more. Okay. Now if that goes light, that means that word's going to go light. So, okay. So back to my hooky tool. And hopefully this bit of weeding won't take anywhere near as long because it's the the so-called easy bit. Okay, so where we have a little section that needs to stay in, you can use your hook just to make sure it stays put. And that's why I say your hook can be invaluable. So I'm just going to 
hook it through there and we can peel that back oh if it does lift off a bit it shouldn't do that's okay just carefully 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 pop that back in there use your hook to push it through okay i'll uh, i'll have a look for you linda because uh, if you've joined today then it might be waiting for us to uh, so we have to authorise all the entries. Yeah, it is a private group. Um, we do tend to vet everybody that comes in, and if anybody, although we haven't really had this yet, if anybody did make any trouble, they'd be straight out that door. <laughs> yes. Hence, we try and keep it a very lovely group because you know we don't want to be kicking people out of the group. But, uh, no, we have far better things to do with our day. <laughs> Extreme. Yes. <laughs> and create and have fun, which is what this group's all about. So, very carefully. Anybody else have any questions whilst we're watching Natalie Wee that we can answer for you? So don't be afraid to ask. There is no such thing as a stupid question. I love weeding. I find it so therapeutic. I, I'm quite happy to sit there and weed a mandala. Mm. Not sure I do a mandala for this particular technique though, because you end up getting quite sticky. Yeah. I'm glad you found us as well. <laughs> no, Carol, I wouldn't kick you out just yet. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's our next piece. Has it become weedy? Because you're taking away the excess. Yeah, the the bits that you don't you don't want. <laughs> That's why it's yeah. called weeding. <laughs> so it definitely does it. Oh, thank you, Tracy. So for this one, I'm going to grab my tidy tray. Just because it's glitter. I can hear Mum going, oh no, not glitter. <laughs> Don't do glitter, do you, Mum? <laughs> That's why you've got something. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Mum, if you've got any colours, that would be really useful. <laughs> yeah, I am totally. I have to say, though, I like this glitter just for the container. So you can see now why we put our detail on first, because otherwise you'd lose it all. This one's a little bit damp, I think. Just give it a little stir. It's just been a lot too long. Yeah. Well, it gets compacted into there, so. Same with your embossing folder. Oh, embossing folder? Embossing powder? It's you going on about folders earlier. <laughs> Brain going, ooh, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Very carefully, and that's lifting up the. No, I don't want it to. So, just gonna very, very gently tap it. And then we can see if there's any bits that are missed. So they'll show up as being slightly darker. Um, is the, can you just pass me the little metal shovel? <laughs> Just for the bits that are. There you go. Sweet. And even with a tidy tray, I still end up sparkling. Okay. So before I go too far. I'm going to take my backing sheet over the top. This is going to crunch lovely. 
but the idea being that I just want to press into that adhesive. So what machines do you all have, all our newbies? Sorry? What machines do all our newbies have? DX uh, or CM? Or Cricut or Cinewack, because we're not... <laughs> no, we are completely neutral. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, just dribbling it, Carol's coming to Arla. Um, Linda didn't say, I don't think, yet. I didn't see a comment saying which machine Linda has. I know one of them has a... The other Linda has a 600 and a 900, didn't she? Yes. Okay. And Francis is saving up for one. But uh, Linda will do hasn't answered as to uh, which machine she has yet. Okay, so I'm just going to grab. Oh, my. To do it. Yeah, my glitter cloth. <laughs> just to clean up right and over the edge. And these are brilliant. So, if you don't like glitter, get yourself one of these because they're fab. very quickly just over the top of my main image with it. And we do try and cover both models as well. We uh... Yeah, the book covers both, so you have screenshots from both. Yeah. Um, we do have a DX at the moment, but unfortunately it's got to go back, so... <laughs> We've got the last couple of few tests that we're going to do with it, haven't we? And then yeah. It's got to go back, so... Yeah, so that's your challenge for this evening, isn't it? Testing. Yes. Um, but there's very little difference between the two, uh, beyond like a few extra designs here and there. And the, it's the noise that's the difference, or yeah. the lack of, <laughs> in terms of the DX. The scene has a 900, she doesn't use it she can't get on with it. But you should get on with the DX, which... And Linda that, has a That's just setting the blade though, isn't it? It's getting to know your blade. Yes. And uh, other Linda has a uh, 300. Yep. 300s are okay. I like the 300. Nice and simple. And, uh, we did have one here, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did have a 300 here for a couple of weeks, yeah. A couple of weeks? <laughs> a couple uh, of months. Couple of months. Uh, Just because I know what I'm like, I'll put the lid back on. <laughs> yeah. And just give it a quick swizz around me, tidy tray with the, the glitter cloth. Best investment ever. Or best present, I should say. Thank you, Mum. No, the 300 isn't Wi-Fi enabled. The 300 is the entry level model in the UK, um, and it's not Wi-Fi enabled. So, if you want a Wi-Fi enabled one, you have to go up to at least the 700. Yeah. Um, in the UK. Um, We're not so good on the model numbers for the American ones, are we? No, I know the UK one is a. The, in America, the 350, I believe, you have to have the activation, code activation card. Yes. Uh, the tray. Uh, the tray is from Stix 2. And if you get an updated one, it has a little cork, cork that goes in the end that stops the bits coming out when you put stuff in. Which is actually quite useful. Yes. If you're doing like microbeads and they just go everywhere, like... Probably will do in a minute. <laughs> yes, the little cork is a, a must have. Yeah. So if you do get an updated one, uh, Sticks 2 sells them. Um, I don't think I can find a link for that quickly as well. I don't throw on Amazon. Maybe on Amazon, maybe. Might be. I'll have a quick look. Might be. If, um, if not, we can actually get those, can't we? If we have we enough. Can, yeah. Because we used to do them as a kit, so that you had the, they do a pokey tool. Um, they do the finger protectors, which are invaluable. 
Um, so they're like little silicon finger protectors for the tips of your fingers. So if you do a lot of work with glue guns or heat guns, like I tend to at the moment. That one coming with the stopper, it doesn't say. If it doesn't say, um, leave it and I can always have a little chin wag with sticks too. Yeah, that one doesn't actually say if it's got the uh, stopper on it, so I will leave it with us. We'll have a chat with sticks too. Because I know the new one does have a stopper in. Sticks two, so S T I X T W O. Or T two is the number, isn't it? I was going to the, I say the full version is actually sticks to anything, isn't it? Yeah, sticks to anything is the uh, correct character. But we like their uh, 3D PVA, so. Yes. Are oh, you saying sticks to? Yes. Yeah, it's. Uh... There you go. I was just going to say him. Pop a link. Is the company. I'm just going to go straight over the top of my little metal spatula just to get it into the detail on this one because it's only little. And this is good for rhinestones that way. <laughs> yes, yeah. Anything that is small and goes anywhere basically. <laughs> So glitter, flocking, um, embossing powder, especially embossing. <laughs> Probably what I use mine most for, isn't it? Really? What are you embossing? Yeah. So I'm just going to knock off the excess. Embossing is magic. <laughs> and you can do it with your scanning cut as well. So don't think that you can't. Um, one thing I would say is I wouldn't use an embossing pen to do it. I know some people do, but I find the quickie glue pen you tend to have better results and you don't have the rush to do it while it's still wet. Do you mean the, the brown piece at the side or it's just the Sorry. waste of the yeah. um so I'm I'm, sorry, I'm not quite sure what which bit you're asking about there, Linda. So do you mean just the, the bit of brown at the side or because that's just the backing sheet off the um, adhesive? That we're wiping off and using. Yeah, just because I know I'm going to use this in a minute for doing me. I'm just going to have a sparkly floor, but the floor's metallic anyway, that's why I went for the metallic one. <laughs> it just looks like a sparkly floor then. <laughs> right. So, next bit. 
this the word next? Uh, no, the oval around the what is, is what, oh. rather. That's what it gets to try and read backwards. <sighs> Uh, okay, so Nat's actually working on some acetate. Um, ah, sorry. Okay, yeah. Um, so the the adhesive Nat is working on is a Barbara Grey one, is it not? No, it's not. Is it not? No. It's it one. is score tape. Ah, score tape. There you go. The Barbara Grey one is a six. Uh, Dot and Dab do it in A5 and Creative Expressions do it in A5 and A4. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so we've stuck that to a sheet of acetate. So you want to go carefully around your text because you don't want to move your glitter. So you, it's more like a tap than a brush. I'm just going to take the lid off my green as well. I was going to do it just purple, but looking at it, it needs a green. You're being brave today, aren't you? Brave or stupid, I'm not sure which. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, the acetate we're using is Dovecraft? No, nope, Paper Mania. Paper Mania, I'll go one of them. Oh, I'm going to show them. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually the Dovecraft adhesive that I use for doing this. Yeah, there you go. And it's 12 by 12, isn't I'm it? I'm all out now. The acetate? Yeah, the acetate's 12 by 12. 12 by 12 yeah. sheets, yeah. Yeah. Other sizes are available. Um, not in the paper mania, it's not. Mm. And the advantage of the paper mania one is it's like extra thick. So when we're doing this thing, it's quite stiff. It's not going to kind of give on you. So I'm only pushing around the outside, anywhere where the text is, I'll just tap. I think so, Carol. <laughs> What's that? That's why I got my right teeth in today. Um, <laughs> and Tracy's asked, when you finish this piece, what can it be used for? Okay, the idea being that something like this, what you can do is you could coat the back of it with like a mirror paint. Um, I know Hachandra had some on one time. Or you can put it in a frame with a mirror, mirror behind it. Or you can turn it into a light box. Which one are we doing? I don't know yet. Oh. Haven't decided. Um, Next week we have another one that we're doing and that's going to be on some perspex sheet, isn't it? Rather than the acetate. So yes. that one is going to be fun because that's going to be front and back work. <laughs> so. It's also two mil thick so it's going to be fun to cut. Yeah. So next week we're kind of having a week of unusual material so if you've never used your deep cut blade, <laughs> ever, then next week is definitely going to be one for you to watch. And Trace says a light box would be beautiful. It would with this because of the sparkle. So. You want me to get some batteries? Frankie. We've got batteries, haven't we? Not for the right sort for our own. Um. Because we need um, the square ones. Do we? Yeah. Oh. Okay, um, I'll ask Mum if she's got any first. I think we've had all your mums because we had them for the. Uh, oh, well. Uh, right, so, so far, so good. So we've done our feelings, here's what. So finally, we have our music. Now, if I'm going to go silver leaf on the rest of it. Oh, which do you think, Ian? Go on, what's my question? 
Okay, I have some leaf and I have the glass beads. Do I leaf the text and glass beads the outside? Uh, yeah, go on. Nothing, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can always try it and get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. Trace says, do I need the deep cut blade because I have the auto blade? No. Well, deep because it doesn't... Is it? If you have the standard auto blade as opposed to the fabric one, then it is, has the same angles on it as the deep cut blade does. Carol says, leave the text. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're going for. We're going to leave the text and attack it from there. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, I'm I'm going to the dot 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 do me me little bits in the letters first with the uh, purple and green, just so it kind of ties it all in, then doesn't it? Uh, and Joe says, thank goodness, Lol, I had both. So she has the fabric one and the. Uh... Yeah. The only difference between the the um, standard and the deep cut is really the angle that they go at. So your standard blade is meant for more detailed things, basically. Whereas your deep cut blade is like. Think of it like a bouncer. <laughs> no subtlety whatsoever. <laughs> but gets the job done. <laughs> so if you if you're trying to do something that's really intricate, you are better off using your standard blade. Couch has just ordered some weeding tools. Hmm? Couch has ordered some weeding tools. There was a, a rose gold set that we put on our Amazon store. That's quite funky. Uh, Athena says I have both to. Can we have a lesson on cutting grey boards sometime? Yep, that's one of the things that's on for next week. <laughs> yep. Grey board um, and then we've got a few other exciting bits, haven't we, that we've, we've got to try. Yes. So, oh, yeah. there's one I missed just there. There we go. I always try and check it from the front because usually you can see your cut lines easier on the front than on the back. So that's alright. What's up? He didn't ask Carol. That's why we didn't say so. <laughs> That's it. Carol said, why didn't you say so? About the rose gold one. <laughs> she didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's on the Amazon store. <laughs> it's like a, a list of tools that um, we recommend, isn't there? So you've got the, yeah. the blending brushes that I use a lot. Um, when we can get them in stock. Um, there is... Lots of tech stuff on there, so there's graphics tablets on there now. Uh, I think we put some printers up, didn't we? Because we, we were getting asked a lot about printers. We did. So we put a load of those up too. And then says, Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to brush the excess in. So don't forget tomorrow feeds we have. Me in the morning, which is always a good laugh, so, you know. Ah, uh, but you, you've got something really special to show people tomorrow, haven't you? Yeah, I have a, another fun way and to use And we've tested it, and tested it, and tested it. <laughs> tested it, we know it works, it's something that we've already tried, so we know this already works. Um, and it's a really cool effect that you can get for your scan and cut, and that's all I'm going to say. So that's worth looking into in the morning. And then tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock we have your vote counts. 
Which is always you get possible. to make decisions, which again are always fun. And uh, we are decorating a jewellery box tomorrow being made out of MDF. That's, that's always going to be a fun one tomorrow as well. So it's going to be a fun day tomorrow. As long as we remember it's Friday and don't think it's Thursday. <laughs> yeah, um, I woke up and I was absolutely convinced it was Wednesday. I do. I was convinced last night that it was Tuesday, so. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm calculating the meeting today, so I have some sympathy. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> And take a little of the excess off because I don't want it to come off too much when I'm weeding the next bit. So now we're going to go for the, the leafy bit. Go for the music next. Go and, and try and go really careful at this point that you don't put your fingers on the adhesive because you will be painted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's that? Jay uh, says, Yeah, your vote counts my favourite. <laughs> and we are in bed now, guys, so okay, so hope you're all comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there room for us all? <laughs> in case anybody's wondering, Tracy's in Australia, so her time frame it's like 11 o'clock at night, maybe 12. Uh, what are we on? It's about 12 o'clock over there, I think. So. Yeah, I could have done a daytime stream for Tracy, couldn't I? I was awake. Yeah. Didn't get off to sleep till like 4 o'clock this morning. <sighs> Sixteen, so yes, it's just gone with that. Yeah, the little spongy bits, what did you do with them in? They are oh, just up here. Ah, okay. I'm going to need that one. There, this is where fingers go in. And I always tend to go, ah, ah at this point, because it's like, Will that release? Won't it release? And it will. It just needs a little encouragement. So which one's this we're using? It's the indigo blue, I believe. Is it on the lid? Yeah. Careful. <laughs> Don't uh, laugh, yeah. This is the indigo blue mega flake winter dawn. So there you go. And you do want to go careful if it does go on any of your other bits of sticky because it will stick to it quite happily. So you can always just tap it off and put it back on again. And at this moment in time it just looks like a hot mess and you don't realise just how magic this is. So I'm just gonna And it's one of these products where You'll think you're using lots and lots, but in actual fact, it's going to be a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, I'm just going to just press it down with the finger to start with, just so it starts to find all that lovely adhesive and kind of get stuck in. And usually I would do this inside my tidy tray, but because it's a bit bigger, I'll work outside of it and then try and just put the bits back in, just help me out a bit. And 
and you want to use a really light hand for doing this. <laughs> and he says, oh my god, what a nightmare, leaf, it goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Does do that, don't worry, just stick it back down for now. We can always tidy up after. Okay, so you just pulled off some of the little bits, so I'll push it that way for now. So, where we had our, our little dots before, I'm just gonna Pay attention to those. And then before we go too far, let's take those little bits off there. These yeah, so don't breathe anyone. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> But you can see why I say light touch is definitely the way to go. Because you can always do extra burnishing once you've kind of done everything else that you need to do. Oh my god, no, don't sneeze, go. <laughs> <laughs> Now the thing to bear in mind is because this is on the back, um, if you wanted to do this with foil instead you'd see the underneath of the foil rather than the top of the foil. So, because one of the questions I often get asked is, couldn't you just do that with foil instead and it would be much neater? Well yes you could, but you'd Doesn't see the back well. of the foil. God, that's never anybody's got a hanky. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, cause sparkles everywhere. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, sparkles. Still gonna be some bits that come on the floor, but never mind. And I just want to do this last little bit so I don't pick it up on the oval. So you want to make sure that this last reveal okay I think I'm happy with that as I'm going to be so okay yeah I'm not quite sure what's going on it keeps dropping a few frames but it's not losing huge quality it's just uh freezing a little bit so apologies for that. Um, the bandwidth is struggling a little bit today. Yeah we did say about just going to one stream next week didn't we temporarily. Mm. Just while I catch up on a few bits and pieces as well. I might drop it down just to go back to the page as well or back to the group. Oh rather than going to YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to issues. do that anyway, because, um... I'm thinking the multi-streaming might be causing it more issues than good. Yeah, and we'll just take the time and actually post it up We'll after. put it up on Facebook, on YouTube after. Plus, if somebody comments on YouTube, we can't, we can't really see it. No. Until after the event. Or you get random comments early hours of the morning, like 4 o'clock this morning. Mm. It does come up on the feed on here, but 
Again, you have to catch it when it comes up if you. Okay, just get these bits that are hiding around the outside. Don't want to waste any if we can help it. Might just be enough there just to touch up if we need to. I'm going to sweep that out of the way for a minute because we don't want it to go any of it and then dare I say it's going to be time to do our microbeads I must be mad <coughs> Last bit of backing. Last bit of backing. So, this one is the tricky one. We've done all that, and I still think this last peel is the trickiest to do because you've got it going every which way possible. I'm still going, so why is YouTube, why is Facebook having a dense five minutes? Yeah, I definitely think drop the, um... Yeah, because we had a be right back up there for a minute. Huh? We had a be right back up for a minute. Then. That's no good. So if you wanted to at this point, um, once you've taken out the little bits in the centre of your letters, you could just stick this directly to a piece of card if you wanted to just to kind of colour your, your piece if you want to do. I mean, there's me saying about doing glass beads and I'm thinking, actually, you know that card that Mum sent over? Yeah. That teeny greeny one. Blue one. Yeah. I think that might look cool. Maybe. So I could do a testing it. Yeah, come on, I'll give you a sheet of that. Oh. You, you, you can see the text enough when it's adhered to it. So, yeah, oh. last little piece. So, okay. hopefully. That's Just because I'm going to chicken out of doing the glass beads. Yeah, <laughs> it will look fab. I order it to look fab. So this is another one where you want to handle it around the outside because you'd hate to get Ooh. What do you think? Do you think it's going to show up enough? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay. You ready then? <laughs> okay. So this is going to be one where you're going to want to burnish it. Squidgy. Just because you don't want to scratch your acetate. And you can see where it picks up your fingerprints. That's good. That's how it throws them, it's okay. Is it? Yeah. So basically where your glitter is, you're going to want to Okay. So basically where your glitter is, you're going to want to just kind of go around that and try and get it to adhere as much as possible. It shouldn't actually be that kind of pronounced from you, your adhesive. So it's just a case of giving it a little encouragement. So I'm going to start off by and I'm going in it on the straight edge.
need to think of a new competition as well. I think they'd like a competition, but they don't want uh, Tracy in there. Although Carol said you didn't want Tracy to win again. You won as well, Carol, so you can't... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say! <laughs> Although, do we say that because Tracy is what she is... Oh, it's gone again. It's back. Yeah, Do we say that because Tracy is what she is... Not giving anything away yet. Do 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 we say that Tracy can't enter because she'll have to do some inspiration post for it? <laughs> That's not a dropper in the deep end. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what you're doing by doing this is stretching your kind of adhesive around that glitter to kind of Try and pick up the foil underneath. So, if you've got like a narrow embossing tool, feel free to go around and do yours, and you'll get rid of the halo a bit more than what I'm doing at the moment. But I'm just doing it with this because I can at the moment, it won't scratch it too much. Here too. You'll see where we've got the um, like the colour rather than all the glitter. You don't get anywhere near as much of a halo. Yep, yeah. I think. If I am, I think. So just to get right in these nooks and crannies, especially in the centre of your. There we go. So you always get like a, a 3D effect when you're doing this because your acetate starts to kind of. What is Tracy? Is she an alien? Mathematically <laughs> level form Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we come clear soon, Carol. Oh, we come clear soon. Yeah, we we have some exciting news, don't we? Well, we have lots of exciting news. Lots of exciting up. news, but yes. It's a secret at the moment. Yeah. So no pestering Tracy because she Tracy can't tell you either. <laughs> She's bummed. <laughs> okay. So I'm slowly getting there. You may find you need to do this a few times just while that you're doing this initial kind of sticking down. Can't you tap that to you? in sync. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a few opportunities open to people to kind of join in, aren't we? Because mm -hmm. We've got lots scheduled over the next sort of few months, so hence I, I need to take a little bit of time next week to finish off one thing and start the next one. With that so like I said over the next sort of couple of hours um, it'll be just a case of just re-emphasizing this otherwise it will start to 
to lift and forget. Okay. And there we go. Music is what feeding sound like. So then it's just a case of trimming it out and then we can, like I said, go over the top if we need to. So with that in mind, I'm going to call it a day. So I hope you've had a good time today. Tomorrow is doing, um, well, yeah, his thing. Um, you will need some cheap white card yeah. and a die cutting machine that, you know, yeah, a die cutting machine, yeah. 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 And you just can't cut. Yes, <laughs> you definitely need to scan and cut. Mind you, I suppose if you haven't got a scan and cut, you, you, you could use die cuts for it. Mm. Yeah. Well, if there's a particular die that you like. Yeah, the idea is not that, is it? So. No. <laughs> yeah. But you could do it that way. Mm. I might try that. <laughs> anyway, so we will be back tomorrow. Um, so as I said, I'm back in the morning um, at 11 and Natalie will be back tomorrow afternoon at 2. We have um, oh my god Barbara first thing in the morning <laughs> at 10 o'clock doing her uh, how could you <laughs> could you um, Barbara oh, that's first it. thing sleeping in the morning on the couch like <laughs> doing her doodles so do catch up with those we're in uh, Holland at the moment, doing Amsterdam, doing uh, Amsterdam, no, doing um, windmills at the moment, <laughs> <laughs> and tulips, <laughs> I was thinking tulips, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so um, we shall, uh, I suppose you're grateful at least there's no hamsters, <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'll catch up with those, and uh, like I said do keep catch up with feet as well, um, Made the stream from today if you missed it, and obviously tomorrow for the the big competition. So thank you all very much, and we hope to see you all in the morning. Take ladies, care. new ladies, don't forget if you want me that send you the code for the artistics mats. Just drop me a uh, private message or Natalie a private message from the group, and uh, I'll give you that discount code. Okay. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Keep safe. Bye.